All right, I'm going to show you how to trace this clip art of this pretty lady um, and do some recoloring on it. So this is just a clip art I brought in. It doesn't have any cut lines in it, and I found this um, clip art online. I'm going to start by tracing. So I'm going to go to my trace um, settings up here and select trace area. I'm going to draw a rectangle so that the whole image is inside. And you can see it's kind of giving me a little highlight here. Keep in mind that whatever is yellow is how it would cut if I were cutting out of yellow paper. So if I trace it just like this, it's going to cut little thin lines here. I don't want it to do that. I want to fill in the whole um, part of her, all the black parts of the image. So I'm going to uncheck high pass filter. And I like to get in close and make sure those details are looking how I want them to look. It's pretty detailed. You can also try sometimes turning down the scale if it looks a little pixelated around the edges. Um, but when you do that, make sure it's still tracing the whole image because sometimes it'll run out of memory and it won't trace your whole thing. It looks like it looks pretty good. I'm going to zoom back out. She's all highlighted in yellow, so I'm going to go ahead and click Trace. And now I can move my image out of the way. And here's my trace. I always like to visualize it better in color, so I'm going to click the fill and fill in the whole thing with black, and you can see it looks pretty similar to what I started with. Now I want to actually make her lips red, and to do that, her lips right now, you know, I filled in the whole thing with black. Her lips actually, there's nothing there. It's actually clear. It's a hole, and if I drag her out onto the mat or onto the background you can see it changes to gray there is no material there that's just a hole so to take the hole away and get those little, the lip shape I need to release compound pack um, what that's going to do is take every little shape that's cut out of the solid outside piece and make it a separate shape um, before I do that I want to keep a copy of it so that I remember what it's supposed to look like because when I un when I release the compound path everything is going to turn black. An easy way to make a copy in Silhouette Studio is to hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and you see my little cursor changes and then click and drag. That gives me a copy of whatever I'm dragging. So I'm going to do that off to the side so I have one to look at for reference. Now I'm going to release the compound path on this so I'll right click release compound path. Like I said, everything fills in black, but you can see where the cut lines are. I'm going to get in close to her lips so I can select them particularly. And what I want, you can see I've kind of got an outline on the outside and then I've got these pieces on the inside. I want these pieces on the inside to be red. So I can click on one of them and change it to red. Or you can select more than one thing at a time and, and select red and it will fill both in. And if you wanted to do something different with her eyes, for instance, you could fill in a, a different color there. Um, if you wanted to do her fingernails, click each one of those and turn them red. Um, and then, now I could at this point just click every one of these little pieces and change the color back to white on all the things that I didn't want to give a special color to. That would actually take a long time because there are a lot of pieces here. So what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to zoom all the way out. I'm going to go to edit, select by color. It's on by line. By default, they all have a red fill line except for the ones that have none. So I'm going to click on by fill and it shows me that some of my shapes are filled in black, some are filled in brown, and some are filled in red. I'm going to select the black. It selects everything that's black. See how my bounding box is going off the page? It's selecting this lady over here too. So I'm going to shift and click her to unselect. Now I have all the black pieces here selected but not the red pieces or the light brown eyes. And now I'm going to go back and do make compound path again and um, you see the red kind of disappeared if I send this to the back those pieces 
were um, the brown and the red pieces were in the back. So once I send this black piece to the back, those come back to the front. And you can actually see she's got some color filled in. And you could do the same way to change any of the other colors. So if I decide after that, oh, I wanted her to have eyeshadow on, I can release Compound Path again, select her, her eyelid, actually click off to the side to unselect, then select her eyelid um, and change the color to, you know, whatever I want it to be. I don't know where her other eyelid is. And then I can do select by color again, select all the black. Remember, I have to unselect this lady. Whoops, shift click and then make compound path, send back. Now she has purple on one side. I see the problem was that her other eyelid is connected to the hair, so I'd have to do some more fancy stuff to change that, but that's basically how you're going to recolor individual parts of this shape, and that's it.